Let's take a look at how to create a shortcut in PowerShell. We're going to use a older technology in the Windows operating system, which is called the Windows script host. And the Windows script host is instantiated first, and we're going to create a Windows script host object. We're going to use the new object commandlet. It has a parameter called com object, and we supply that parameter wscript.shell. So now we have this Windows script host object, and this object has methods that we can use. And one of those methods is create shortcut. So we call that method from that object and we supply it a string, which will be the location of our link file. In this case, I'm going to send it to a folder on my desktop called test. Now you have to make sure that you use dot link at the end or else it's going to fail. So this does not create the shortcut. It just instantiates the create shortcut object. And we do that by giving it another variable name and that creates the shortcut object that, and that object has other properties that we need to fill in before we can create the shortcut. Now, the only mandatory property that you need to fill in is the target path. And this is the location of the file that you want your shortcut to open. In this case, I'm gonna make it powershell.exe. Now, here's some other things you can fill in if you want. One is a description, which is what will show up if you hover over the shortcut. And then this is actually, this is not a property that you fill in. It's just um, a property that displays the location that you defined up here. So that was just kind of messily thrown in the middle. The window style, how will the window be displayed when you open up this shortcut? In this case, I'm using the minimize the window and activate the next top level window, which will start this uh, program minimize. You can define a hotkey if you want to use the keyboard to quickly open up your shortcut. In this case, uh, I, think it, I think it has to be on the desktop, but in this case, control plus shift plus F5 will call this shortcut. As the um, key names, you can use A through Z, 0 through 9, F1 through F12, and you have Alt, control and shift and ext is something you can go read about that on the tech net and we also have an icon if you want to give it a custom icon if you don't um, utilize this then it will just use whatever the default icon is for the program that you're calling so once you have filled out all of those properties or if you've only filled out the target path at least then you can use the save method and this is what actually creates the shortcut. So let me open up that folder on the desktop and I'll delete this one that I already have here. When I hit play and we go back to it, you'll see that now the shortcut is created. When I hover over it, the message is displayed. Let's go look at the properties for it. The target is pointing to PowerShell.exe. We have our shortcut key. It's going to run minimized and here's my comment down below. So when I run it, you'll see that nothing has popped up, but when I click on the minimized um, link, then it shows up. So that is how to create a shortcut to a program on your machine. Let's say if you wanna create a shortcut to a website, you have to do something a little bit different. So let's look at that. All right. So we're doing the same thing. We're still using the Windows script host. We're using the create shortcut method, but instead of a .lnk, we're putting .url, and that tells this create shortcut method which kind of shortcut you're trying to create. And the only thing that you can utilize is the target path. So if you try to assign any of the other properties, you're gonna get an error message. So don't even worry about them. And now we just save it. So let's create this one next and you'll see now i have my web shortcut and when i run it oh i don't know why it's taking its time over here come on okay now you'll see that i have a browser it'll open up in your default browser with the website that i have defined there so that is pretty much it we are using the windows script host object method of create shortcut and we can create shortcuts to different files or different websites that's it
Thanks for watching.